Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and I'm going to talk to you about stringing a high pocket. So a high pocket is like an example here where the pocket is going to sit up above the top half of the head. And so a couple of advantages to having a high pocket are that you'll have more hold. Uh, generally high pockets have a lot more hold and you can throw a lot better fakes with them. Uh, you'll have a quicker release since the ball has less distance to travel from where the pocket is to where it will release in the scoop. You'll have a quicker release and also it'll have more whip. And some people don't like more whip, but if you do, then a high pocket might be the way to go. Um, with a high pocket, because you have more whip, it makes it much easier to shoot sidearm and overhand and also you can get a lot more power in your shots. For example, Paul Rabel generally uses a high pocket and he's able to generate a lot of power on his shots because it holds it in there to the last second and really cranks it up right before your release. Uh, generally, I wouldn't recommend a high pocket for every player. It really has to be something that you would have to try out and really like yourself. But um, some midfielders who like to take really big outside shots or really big shots down the alley might like it. And some attackmen who really prefer the quick release for feeding may also like it. A lot of defensemen also like it because it allows them to put a lot of whip in their stick and therefore it makes those really long cross field passes a lot easier because they can get a lot of power on it. Um, but for the most part I wouldn't recommend a high pocket for everyone. A couple disadvantages, it doesn't allow the ball to shift down nearly as easily as a mid pocket or low pocket would when you're cradling one handed. So that's one serious drawback for an attackman who wants to use a high pocket but not quite so for a midfielder because when you cradle in the box or down by your hip, it's still gonna sit up high where you want it. Also, you can't have quite as tight of a channel with a high pocket. Um, as you can see, since the pocket's higher in the head, it doesn't give you as much of a chance to develop the channel as it would in a low, po low pocket or a mid pocket, and that can affect your hold and your consistency, but you still can string one uh, with a relatively tight channel. Uh, just a couple tips for you guys when you want to string a high pocket, you want to just like every other head interlock those first three diamonds of mesh down very tightly down the head to create the channel and whereas you might go an extra interlock past three or um, a one or one interlock to bring it a little further down the head for a mid pocket or a low pocket, after this first three really tight interlocks you're going to want to do a double up or a triple up to really bunch the mesh up really as high in the head as you possibly can. And that's what's going to create your high pocket. Now a couple of tips for when you're choosing a head if you want to string a high pocket is you want one that has a pretty high pinch and a pretty high flare. You, don't, you can't do it on a very wide head. Uh, this is a Nike Lakota and it works very well because you see that flare happens higher in the head so it allows you to string a high pocket easier and still have a channel. Another head that I really like for string a high pocket is the SDX Surgeon and you can see very similar, it's got a very long narrow throat and a very high pinch so your pocket can still form somewhere up here in the head and it's still very narrow so you'll be able to still have good hold and good release while having the high pocket. So overall I wouldn't recommend a high pocket for everyone but it's certainly something you can give a try if you like if you like to take big outside under, underarm and uh, sidearm cranks uh, something you might want to check out. So thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the Lacrosse Network for uh, lots of daily with cross clips and more string tips from me, East Coast Eyes, and thanks for watching.